and welcome to my channel. So today I don't have a craft video for you. I have to take care of something which is kind of important. So I had to go do that and it kind of took away from my time from planning things uh, for you like a craft video on Tuesdays. I did do that little uh, vlog video on Saturday where I showed you my garden. So I thought since I got to come home a little earlier than I thought, I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I do another little vlog? I did stop at the grocery store on the way home. I do have a craft idea in mind, uh, but I don't have the supplies. Now, I did get some supplies, and I got them from the Dollar Tree, but I don't have the other things that I want to complete it. If I don't find what I'm trying to get for this, I'll just go ahead and do uh, something else. But I want it to be something for Mother's Day, so that's what uh, I mentioned uh, in my last uh, craft video. That I, uh, if you wanted me to show you how to do a memento vase, then uh, that's basically what I wanted to do for this Tuesday. But obviously it's not happening, but it will happen for the following Tuesday, okay? So I'm just going to do a little vlog and I'm going to unpackage my groceries because what's in my grocery bags? Okay, so since it's just my husband and I, I tend to go to the grocery store kind of like at a random moments because... Uh, I don't cook as much, or like the quantities I don't cook. I still cook, but I don't cook in the quantities that I used to uh, when my younger son and then my older son were home or when my older son was living next door. You know, there was food to share, but now it's just um, myself and my husband, and I do share some with my sister-in-law and my, and my husband. My, oh, my gosh. <laughs> my brother and my sister-in-law. I was going to say my sister-in-law and my husband. Uh, but my sister-in-law was... My brother and my sister-in-law live across the street from me, but right now they're staying with my parents because uh, I had mentioned quite a few months ago my brother had had a stroke. He's doing fine, uh, but they've been staying there, you know, kind of helping him out a little bit, you know, just while he's uh, recuperating or uh, doing therapy to walk again and things like that, which he's doing. He's doing very well. Uh, but they're on another side of town, not too far from here, so I don't get to say, hey, on your way home, stop by, grab some food, because I have plenty, um, but um, I don't know, maybe I will and tell her, hey, stop by, <laughs> make a little turn this way before you go to my parents' house, but anyway, <laughs> I'm not cooking that much, so I don't go and grab too many things, although I kind of did today, And uh, but still, when I think about it, I, I'm thinking, I don't really get, you know, that much, and things are kind of like just not really planned out meals although I do have some things in mind that I want to make with some of the stuff that I got I'm going to start off by what I'm going to make for tonight which is going to be super easy and I'll just remember that I forgot an ingredient okay well I decided that I wanted to have some brisket sandwiches uh, but instead of like making a big old brisket uh, I've got uh, these or instead of having a bun for them, I've got these Hawaiian Kings uh, sweet rolls. I love those. So I thought I'd make like little mini little brisket sandwiches. And I'm not cooking a brisket, you guys. I actually bought some packaged brisket like that. So this is going to be the first time I actually try it. So that's what I'm going to have for tonight. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, uh, well, I got some ground beef. Got some of that, a small package. I'm actually paying a little bit extra for a smaller package. But um, I have been buying like bigger packages like at a lower cost and then freezing it, you know, you know, separating it into little freezer bags and then, uh, you know, just taking out a little bit just for my husband and I. The problem with that is that we weren't eating it fast enough. We like, we didn't get to it fast enough. So then I feel like, I don't know how you guys feel about having like meats and things like that in your refrigerator or even your freezer for a very long time. I can't, I just can't eat it. It's just a thing. I, I can't eat leftovers. I can eat a leftover like from one day to the next, but I really can't put like food in my refrigerator and then come back two or three days later and eat it. I just can't. And it kind of feels the same way with freezer stuff. I don't know why I'm like that, but so I'm just going to pay a little bit extra and buy a smaller package. And I can divide this into two, but at least I know that this is just going to be like two dinners rather than four or five that might spread out like two, three weeks. I don't want to do that. Okay, so then I got some Italian sausage links, and they say sweet. So I'm not really sure. I was looking at the ingredients, but I thought I wanted some ground pork is what I wanted. 
Unfortunately, I didn't find any ground pork, and I was gonna ask the, the butcher there to if he could ground some pork for me there, but they were so busy, they never really paid attention to me, and I really just wanted to come home. Uh, but there is another place that I know we, I can get it at. But what I wanted to do with the ground pork is I wanted to make my own homemade chorizo, like a Mexican chorizo, and so I could do a video for you guys. So I thought, you know what, maybe I'm gonna try using this uh, just to show you that maybe you can do it uh, with uh, any pork sausage. Uh, so I'm going to use this ground pork for that because that's a video idea that I have is to make some chorizo. And I'm hoping to do it for this Friday. If not, I'm gonna be making some chilaquiles. So that's my idea for the Friday video. Okay, so I've got some chicken breast. And again, I paid a little bit extra for small packages rather than big ones because Opening everything up and then putting it in little freezer bags again. They're in there for the very for a long time and the part where I already opened it And even though it's fresh and I'm putting it in the freezer. I don't know. I just can't How do you all feel about like about things like that? Okay, this is what I do when I go to a restaurant and I know that I'm not gonna finish everything I like to separate everything like cut it into portions and push it over to the plate and then like I go to IHOP and they have the uh, I think it's a Colorado omelet, the one that has all those meats in it, and it's huge, and I love it because it has like uh, roast beef in it, it has sausage, it has bacon, and then it has some yummy stuff and some cheese, and uh, I like to cut it in half, push it off to the side, and then just eat the, the other half that I have on my plate, and then I like to bring the other part home, but eat it that night, like I said, usually we have it for... A breakfast and have it for dinner but if it stays in my refrigerator and the next day I, I I can't I can't eat it my husband will end up eating it before I do he doesn't have a problem with that but I do okay so I got some oranges because my husband likes to have these are navel oranges and they're so good oh, they're so nice and cool um, my, my face feels warm I'm, I'm dealing with my rosacea and then because I was out in the garden on Sunday I thought it was gonna get like really bad but it actually is, is um, you know, because of the heat, and I thought it was going to get really bad, but it's actually doing pretty good, and I think it's because the days have been cool after that. Even that day, that Saturday, even though it was really sunny out in the garden, it was a really nice, cool breeze. Um, but anyway, my skin is just like super dry, but it's not super itchy because I did buy a facial cleanser. Oh my God, I'm all over the place. <laughs> this is just a vlog. I'm not teaching you anything, just that I talk too much. Um, anyway. So I bought a, a cleanser that's good for that, but uh, I think that's why my my face is a little bit like heated up right now because I was doing stuff. So I got some I got this can of petite diced tomatoes. I like to use this uh, for like either tortilla chicken tortilla soup or I like to make um, and I have a recipe for that and in my videos also. And I have shakshuka. I like to make shakshuka, so I like to buy the tomatoes already diced like this because they're super easy just dump everything because such sugar is something that i like to make for breakfast even though you can make it any time of the day and i do have a video i don't know if i said that i have a video for that uh but you know you gotta be dicing all that stuff so i just use a can i used to buy a big can and make a big you know portion a big big amount of it but now you know just my husband and i so or even just myself sometimes oh my god i got myself some water here so i'm gonna drink some of that So I had to go out of town, so that's why my day was a little longer and took up my time and I wasn't able to make a proper video for you. Okay, and I got some borracho beans. Borracho means drunken. And these are pinto beans and they're made with shiner buck. And we kind of like these, they're called Texas style borracho beans and we love these. Um, I would like maybe one of these days, because I do have a, um, a video for a recipe for chavo beans that I made there. That's my recipe. Uh, so I think I'm gonna make something like this, but with some beer. Share that with y'all. I got a half a gallon of whole milk. Uh, my husband likes to drink almond milk, but he got himself some almond milk already, so I didn't have to get him that. But I like to have whole milk. And you know, so I get this one, and I like to have some at night because it kind of helps me. I have found it helps me fall asleep. And I only eat like, pretty much like brunch breakfast, lunch, and then I eat my dinner because we're eating a lot less. Uh, now we've been cutting down a little bit on our meals because, I don't know, maybe because we're getting older, 
Those of you who are getting older, do you experience that, that you can't eat as much as you used to, like you want to, but you can't? Like that omelet that I told you about, I used to be able to eat the whole thing, but now just, I can't. Anyway, um, so then at night, because I'm up, because I'm a, you know, insomniac, I can't really sleep, but then I get hungry because, you know, I eat two smaller meals now. So what I do is I just drink like a cup of milk or sometimes maybe a little bit of cereal. But what I've been doing is just, just some milk and it really does help. It curbs the appetite and I can fall asleep. Okay, so then I got myself a package of flour tortillas and I wish I hadn't because I also want to do a video on how to make homemade flour tortillas. So what do you all think about that? Do you want to learn how to make homemade flour tortillas? I will tell you this, I don't make them very often because we don't really eat that much flour tortillas, but I can make like a dozen or so. And this is, happens to be 20 count and it's a lot of tortillas. And But I've been wanting some uh, flour tortillas, I've been craving them, but I haven't been eating them. We've been cutting down on breads and things like that. So actually instead of eating flour tortillas, we'll eat uh, corn tortillas because these are gluten-free. I don't have an allergy or anything like that. I just thought, you know, maybe if I cut down on some of that, that would also help me. And it actually does. When I cut down on breads, my stomach feels so much better. And uh, when I eat uh, like a flour tortilla or something, I get a little bit of a, a tummy ache. But uh, I don't eat like two or three of them like I used to. I just, just eat one. And I kind of like to toast it up with some butter sometimes. If not, with that Mexican chorizo that I want to make, that's what I want them for. But I kind of wish I hadn't bought them. I just thought maybe I should do the video instead and make some. So anyway, you let me know what you think and I can just give those tortillas that I made fresh to my family. I bought some goat cheese crumbles because my husband likes to have goat cheese crumbles and he likes to have a little salad at lunch. But usually what he's having now is he's having a, 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 a <laughs> an avocado and he kind of crumbles it up like a, a guacamole. It's not a guacamole. It is just a crushed avocado. It is not a guacamole unless you put some tomatoes, onions, and some chili in it. Just so that you know that. Otherwise, it's just a mashed avocado. It's a guacate. Okay, and then I got me these. These are my, for my Keurig. These are Texas Pecan. This is my coffee. I love it. I have to have it. And out of one Keurig, I actually run it twice. I run 10 ounces and, and then eight ounces. So I actually get 18 ounces of coffee which is just a, what, do the math, quickly, quickly, a two and a quarter cup of coffee. Is that bad? No, it's not. Okay, and then I got my kitty and my doggy, their favorite packages of doggy food and kitty food, and I got enough for eight days because I give them one package in the evening each, and then they get dry cat dog food during the day. So I have a that, so I didn't have to get that, but I did get the packages and I have to put those away. And then I got my honey because I was talking about the oranges. My husband, when he comes home for lunch, because he comes home for lunch every day, he works nearby, uh, he takes with him an orange and, or he'll take with him an apple. And I like to get him the honey crisp apples. I used to get him either Granny Smith or a Red Delicious apple, sometimes like a Gala or something like that. Uh, uh, but then I bought a honey crisp and I forgot what recipe I did that asked for a honey crisp, and they were delicious. So I kept buying those for him, and they're pretty much more expensive than the other ones, but I thought, you know, it's for my husband, it's for himself, he likes to have an apple, I'm gonna get it for him. But, <laughs> today, when I went, they had these, and they almost look like them, and they're called piñata apples. And I thought, a piñata apple, what does that look like to you? What would you say that would be if you were to look at it? Would it look like a gala or a honeycrisp or I can't think right now of <laughs> names of apples, but wouldn't it look like something like that? But it's called a piñata and they were not that expensive. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And I actually got him three, but when I was at the grocery store, he calls me, he goes, are you still at the grocery store? And I was like, yes. And he says, are you getting me the oranges and the apples? And I said, yes. But he was having lunch at the time here at the house. And I was not going to be home on time for him to grab them. So he asked me if I could stop by his work and drop him one off. So that's why I only have two now. He was already going to grab an orange too, by the way. And I said, no, 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 no. Only one. <laughs> because just because you see a lot doesn't mean you grab a lot. 
Okay, so you grab the one and you can have the rest the other days. Okay, we have this four corn on the cob. And yes, I did pay extra for this one. I could have just grabbed some corn, but I didn't see any. They usually have it like, um, you know, on the husk, they have the whole thing. And they're usually like maybe four for a dollar, five for a dollar, six for a dollar sometimes. Um, but I didn't see any. But I want to have this with our brisket. And the other thing I wanted to have was potato salad and they have like little mustard potato salad in the deli. That's what I forgot to grab. I was going to get potato chips, but then I told myself no. And I was there grabbing the potato chips and I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to get potato salad because my husband loves the mustard potato salad there from the, my grocery store. And, uh, and I never, I, I don't know what I did if I went around that area or not, but I completely, I got my coffee is what I did. And then I just took off. So uh, I just said, that's it. I'm tired. I want to go home. But I had already grabbed this. So that'll be okay. A little brisket sandwich and a corn in the cob. And I'll put some butter. And that'll be delicious. And then I got also this uh, little package, which I also paid a little bit extra for. If I've been complaining about what I had to pay, it's my own fault. Um, these are like an assortment of little tomatoes. Those sweet tomatoes. And there's some yellow, some red, like maroonish color and an orangey color. And I had seen a little salad that was nice nice and cut up and a little vinaigrette in it and a, on top of some avocado. And I told my husband, hey, how would you like that? Like, you know, for your lunch? Because he usually has a wasa cracker, as I was saying, and he likes to put the avocado on top of it. Sometimes he, put like, he puts like turkey slices, which I know that I bought some uh, on it, or he'll put like tuna, he likes tuna. Got some tomatoes as well. And that's what he'll have for lunch. Like, he'll have two of those crackers. Um, let me see if I have any of those Wasa crackers. Usually we put them in the fridge, but uh, yeah, they're there. Oh. They're stuck in the bottom here. Anyway, um, they're in the refrigerator because, you know, we opened it up like that. And I don't have a big enough ziploc bag to put them in, which I need to get. Uh, and I don't want to just put it in my pantry like that because I'm scared some little bug might get in there. So I told my husband, so I'm putting them in the fridge. But this is, I'll, I'll come around so you can see it closer. Right here, do you see it? Okay, so this is a multi-grain, whole grain, crisp bread. So it's only 35 calories each. So instead of having bread, we have these little wasa crackers. Let me take one out. This is what they look like. And you know what they taste like? Cardboard. Yeah. Okay. Let me go around. By themselves, yeah, they do kind of taste like cardboard, but you know what? They're super, hmm, super, super crispy. They're not bad. They're actually pretty good. They're super, super crispy, and then you put, you know, whatever topping you want, even cream cheese if you want. On here, they have a picture, and it looks like guacamole with some tomato. And then it's got some uh, like shredded cheese on it. So that's how they're serving it. Because I remember before it used to have like a little slice of salmon. So I think they're trying to, you know, go the, uh, let's get the Hispanic people to buy these. So they put guacamole on them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. But that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, but um, yeah, the picture has changed. But this is what, I, what my husband has at lunch. He has two of them. And he puts guacamole on them, or not guacamole, sorry, avocado on them, a little slice of turkey, or maybe some tuna, and then just a little bit of, he likes to mix it up with a little bit of pepper and uh, ground uh, the garlic. And I got me some Texas sweet onions, and they're little tiny ones, and that was like two something for this bag. It was not bad. And I'm going to cut up some of that for our little brisket sliders. Oh, my God. And you know what? I went by the bakery. And they had a coupon, a dollar off. This pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> it was $4.98, but it had a dollar off, so I got it for 4 bucks. So it was $3.98. Look at that. And I could smell it. I was walking through there, and I was like... Nothing appealed to me because I knew my husband was going to ask me, would you bring something sweet? Because every time I get groceries, you know, that night we usually have something sweet. So uh, I could smell something, but nothing seemed to appeal to me. Everything that I was looking at, and then I kept thinking, I think I'm going to go get that watermelon. My husband can have an orange. But then I saw it. <laughs> and I said, oh, I'm going to get it. 
By the time I buy everything to make it, by the time I make it, oh boy. Okay, what do I have in here? My receipt. <laughs> okay, this bag, I have it in my car. I have a ton of these type of bags. Uh, there's a, a city nearby us, actually the one that I was at this morning, where they pretty much banned plastic bags, and now you have to have these type of bags. So I have this one ready because I thought, you know, when I got out, if there was time. And there was a little bit of time to go shopping there, but I decided, no, I'm coming home. Um, anyway, I have this in my car, so I decided to put some of the bags in there because I have, like, glass items in here and, and that I purchased, and they just put them in these plastic bags and... Don't you hate when they just put all your glass items together instead of like dispersing them in the bags with different things so it's not heavy and it won't break? No, they put it with all the canned and all the, can and all the glass stuff in it. And then there I am sorting things out. Uh, so I put everything in this bag. Okay, so then I got some shredded cheese because I have to have cheese. I love cheese. I got a Mexican blend and then I got a charred cheddar. And you know, guys, what I forgot is that I also been thinking about making a cheddar and broccoli cheese. But now I have this other idea. It's either going to be homemade tortillas or chorizo or chilaquiles. So that's too many things I can't make in this week. But maybe, what do you think? But if I do make the cheddar, um, cheddar broccoli cheese, I'm going to get the block so I can shred it myself. Got some sliced cheese because sometimes I just like the sliced cheese. Um, I like at night when I have a glass of milk sometimes. I do get a slice of cheese and have that. That's very filling. Okay, and then I got this package of Oscar Mayer's Deli Fresh. This is not my husband's favorite, but he does like it. Smoked turkey breast. He likes the one that has like pepper, and it's like a little pepper, black pepper on the edge. That's the one that he likes, and I got him his packaged tuna. He likes it like this because it doesn't have a lot of liquid, and he just drains it out a little, little bit. He doesn't want to have to be there opening the can and draining it. Plus, you know, that stinks up a little bit more and that doesn't smell so bad. Okay. Then I got two different salsas because they were a dollar each. La Sabrosita, Salsa Roja, and Salsa Verde. So I got red and green. This is for the chilaquiles, depending on what I'm in the mood for. Whether I want green or red. Okay, here's more canned stuff. I got some dill pickles for our brisket tonight I don't know why I got sweet relish I know that I was thinking I wanted to make something but I needed sweet relish so I couldn't make that but now I can't remember what it is that I wanted to make so anyway I got that for when I do our favorite salsa this is fresh this salsa once you've opened it up it has an expiration date but also once you open it up it's seven days eat it or throw it away it has no preservatives or anything like that Okay, and then I got some olives. All right, yes, I do I do make my own salsa, but sometimes, you know, you're lazy, so, and I'm lazy a lot. So, um, I, I do that. That's my groceries, you guys. I gotta put it all away. I don't think you wanna see me putting it away. I do have this idea where I wanna clean, clean out my pantry and maybe do a video of that because I would like to get some little organization thingies and. My camera just decided to die. I'm talking too much. It's probably telling me to shut up. But anyway, I was telling you about my Rudy's barbecue sandwich. It was a brisket. It was a chopped brisket with sauce. I asked for the sauce. It was actually called uh, the spicy chop or something like that. So that's what I ordered, and it was delicious. Uh, but they, it had a little bit of sauce in it, but they gave me these two little things of sauce, little extra little things. And um, I actually ate this while I was driving, bad. But anyway, um, I wasn't gonna pour the sauce in it because I thought I'm just gonna eat the sandwich like that. And so I saved the sauce for our sandwiches tonight. I saved my jalapeno. I was parked first, of course, and then I put some uh, pickles and some uh, uh, onion in my, in my sandwich, but I didn't put too much, but I saved. <laughs> I was going to throw this bag when I was at the grocery store. I said, no, you know what? I'm going to save these little things because I can use them for my sandwiches. So I was only going to save the sauce and my spoon and stuff, which I didn't need. I just used my, my napkin. But that's what I had for lunch. And I had a Dr. Pepper. And I still have my ice here. I just splattered myself with it. Um, but that's it, you guys. Um, 
I think I asked you a couple of questions and I can't remember what it was. Uh, okay, uh, let me go through the ones that I think I remember. For food ideas, I know, that, I know that not many people look at the food videos like they look at the craft videos, but I do have a few people who do enjoy the food videos, so um, I do like making them because it just gives me something else to do. Uh, and uh, so my thoughts were uh, my recipe, because it's not any traditional way, so anybody who might want to say that's wrong, that's not how you make it, or that's not how my mama made it, or that's not blah, 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 blah. That's fine if you make it a different way. Everybody can make it their own way. This is just my idea, and that's the purpose of my whole channel, is to share ideas, and I like for you to share yours with me. But just like when I tell you this is how I make it, I'm not telling you, I'm gonna show you how to make it the right way because the way that you're doing it is wrong. I don't say that to you, so please, if you leave a comment, say, oh, this is the way we made it like this, and just say it. Oh, that's nice, but this is how we made it. Don't tell me wrong. <laughs> that's not how you make it. Because right, that is how I make it. You make it your way, I make it my way. Let's just share ideas. Why not, right? Uh, I'm not even making chorizo like my mom or my grandmother would have made. My mom never made chorizo. But, I mean, well, she bought it already made. My grandmother used to make chorizo at her ranch. And I don't remember exactly, but I used to be the one of those curious little girls who were always there, what is my grandma making, what is my mom doing, whether they were sewing or whatever they were doing, I needed to know. So I was there, even when my dad was outside even uh, doing some wooden, you know, building something or even in the shop or he was cleaning up something, or even when he was pouring a sidewalk, you know, like cement and mixing it, I had to be there looking. I was very curious, I needed to know everything and learn everything by watching. I've. I've seen a lot of things <laughs> because my grandmother had a ranch, so they had to slaughter a lot of the animals, so I got to see a lot of that. I've never done that, but anyway, I'm just letting you know that uh, that is how I come to have all these things in my head because um, I learned a lot because I was very curious, and I think we should uh, continue that with our kids. You know, do things with them. Let them see what you're doing. Show them what you're doing. Let their little curiosity answer their questions. Share it all. And uh, I did that with my sons, and my sons have been very grateful. They've actually said, Mom, a lot of the things that you showed us, even when he was just doing little crafts, you know, helps them because now they're able to think about things. Okay, how am I going to fix this? How should I do this? So it helps them not only, oh, it's not just painting a little birdhouse, but it's making the decisions. How do I clean this if I make a mistake? Well, how do I want to do this? Being creative and, and how can I put the, take this apart and put it back together? You know, a lot of things. And of course, from their father, of course, they learned a lot of little things, little, little uh, handyman things. So it's very important instead of just letting our kids, you know, you want to let them play games or watch TV or whatever you're letting them do to play video games. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I did with that with my kids. A lot of times I put in a movie and had them watch, sit down and watch a movie. But many of the times I had them running outside I was outside if I had to be out there with them. Let them explore the outdoor. Let them explore bugs, let them get dirty, let them do all those things, but also let them learn what you know, okay? Or what you, even if you're just learning it, let them learn along with you. Share your creativity with your kids, share your knowledge of things. I feel like a lot of that is getting lost and there's a lot of new young people who don't know how to do basic things. You know, my, my sons know how to wash their clothes, they know how to iron their clothes, they know how to cook, they know how to do, you know, they can take care of a lot of little things. They learn that. You know, I didn't make them. I made it look like it was fun and it's, it's good It's good to do your own stuff. At some point, even when my sons were living at home, they started doing their own laundry because, you know, mom's working and I want this clean, so the only way I can get it clean is let me go ahead and wash it now because by the time mom gets home, it gets it done. And you know, you have a certain day when you do laundry and they want a specific thing done. Instead of mom washes for me, they wash it themselves. So teach them what is, you know, the necessities of things. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling on everybody. But <laughs> I have a lot to say about a lot of things. But anyway, um, that's just me chitter chatting and I hope that you enjoyed it. This was my little grocery, kind of a little bit of a haul here and I'm telling you what I want to make. 
either chorizo, that's where my, I rambled on from something else, just so that you know how my conversations go. It's either gonna be chorizo or some chilaquiles, or maybe fresh flour tortillas. What do you think? What would you like to see first before the other? Okay, let me put it this way. Chorizo or chilaquiles, because I have the ingredients for both. Uh, the flour tortillas can wait for another week, but do you wanna know how to make fresh flour tortillas? Let me know. And we will do that, or I will do that for you. Okay, so what time is it? It's 3 o'clock? It's 3 p.m., you guys. It's not that late. Did I make it sound like it was like a really late in the day? No, it's not. So I'm going to go and rest for a couple of hours because I don't have to cook anything. I have to just heat up some stuff. I actually got rid of my microwave, you guys. I said, we don't use a microwave. I told my husband, I had it up here, right here, a little microwave. We don't use our microwave and, and it was just a hassle if we ever did and something spilled and I had to clean it up. And I would clean it up but then I noticed it was starting to get a little rusty so I said man it's a little cheap little microwave that I got myself and, and it's not even worth it because I, I hardly use it and the times that I clean it up, it, why is this happening? Why is it getting rusty? Uh, so I decided to toss it out and now my husband and I are like you know what? We do need a little microwave. We need something to warm things up, like that brisket. We could have just thrown it in the microwave, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it in a little pan. But it's already cooked. Is the point of my the whole point of what I'm saying? I'm gonna go rest for a couple of hours uh, because I woke up super early and I didn't sleep very well last night because of it's been cold, you guys. Why is it cold in Texas, you guys? It's spring. It's supposed to be 70, 80 degrees out there, and it's 50 something. I don't know what it is right now. I think it's probably warmed up a little bit. I shouldn't complain because I know some of you are having like really, really cold. And I know that like people like in Australia, you're going into your winter, I believe, or your fall. And so um, I don't know how it gets there for you. Let me know. Let me know what, what it's like where you're from. How's that? Leave a nice comment down below. Give me a big old thumbs up. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. Why not? And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that little notification bell so that you know that I put up videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Except these days have been really bad. I'm really sorry. But they'll be back uh, as soon as I get everything straightened up. I do have to go do my important thing again Monday. But I'll do my, my craft video uh, before that for sure so that I can have it for Tuesday. Or, or maybe I'll, I'll post it earlier than, than what I thought or maybe early Tuesday morning if I'm not having to continue the important thing. How's that? <laughs> okay, everybody, y'all have a super awesome week, and I'll see you Friday. Enjoy.